I feel like the Guardian has not done a good job of protecting my mom. As long as she has people around who are yes people, I know that she's not getting the help that she needs. All right, everyone's been buzzing about Wendy Williams, and let me tell you, things are looking pretty wild, especially after that documentary trailer dropped a couple of weeks back. From what we've seen, it's clear that Wendy's life hasn't exactly been up and up these last few years. But guess what? Despite everything, Wendy is still head over heels for her ex, Kevin Hunter. Yeah, you heard that right. She's even thinking about getting back with him. But here's the drama her son, Kevin Hunter Jr., is totally not on board with this. He's blaming it all on Wendy's dementia, saying she's just not thinking straight. People agree with this and take a look at this comment, Kevin trying to get her money, he'll steal from his child if he can. Now that's a statement. Let's rewind a bit though. Wendy's life started going sideways back in 2021 thanks to some health issues that stopped her from doing her show, but really the mess began in 2019. That's when she found out her hubby of nearly 20 years, Kevin Hunter, got his longtime girlfriend Sharina Hudson pregnant. Wendy knew about the affair for ages but chose to ignore it. However, with the baby in the picture, she couldn't look away anymore. This whole thing broke her. She felt utterly alone with nobody to turn to. Her family would have just told her to leave, but Wendy was still in love and confused about what to do. Eventually, Wendy decided enough was enough. She wasn't about to play stepmom in her own marriage, so she served Kevin divorce papers and fired him from his job on the Wendy Williams show all in one day. Talk about a power move, but that didn't solve everything. Wendy was deeply hurt and turned to alcohol, making her dependency worse. This led to her health declining and her missing a whole season of her show, which ultimately got canceled. Wendy then disappeared from the public eye, popping in and out of wellness facilities. So when her team announced she'd star in a Lifetime documentary, we all thought maybe things were looking up for Wendy. But then the trailer dropped and oh boy, it was a whole different story. Wendy was broke, struggling with drinking, and we were all like, what is even happening? She looked confused and she looked skinny. Now, diving deeper into the documentary, we see a glimpse of the real chaos in Wendy's life. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. The documentary reveals she's broke with nothing left to her name. It's pretty clear she's still battling her alcohol issues. In one clip, she's even asked if she drank an entire bottle in a day. It's all kinds of sad and alarming. Her son, Kevin Jr., shows up in the trailer too, and he's throwing some serious shade at Wendy's court-appointed guardian. He's convinced this guardian isn't doing a lick of good, basically letting people take advantage of his mom while she's down. And let's be real, Wendy's been through enough without people circling her like vultures. Here's where it gets even more heartbreaking. Wendy was diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontal temporal dementia in 2023 after a whole bunch of medical tests. Her symptoms are messing with her ability to communicate and think straight. I mean, Tasha K had hinted at something like this way back in 2021, but everyone thought she was just stirring the pot for attention. Turns out she was onto something. But what really makes this whole situation a mess is how Wendy's family is being shut out of her life by her guardian. According to Wendy's sister Wanda and niece Alex, they haven't seen her in ages. Wanda spills that the last time the family saw Wendy was back in 2021 when she was in Florida. Back then, Wendy had a whole support system, doctors, nurses, family, you name it. But now, it's like she's been cut off from everyone who genuinely cares about her. Wanda's pretty vocal about how much Wendy needs her family right now, especially given all the health issues. But get this, Wendy's niece Alex says that Wendy has to call her family Family from a block number. Like they can't even reach out to her directly, they miss birthdays, holidays, and didn't even get to tell her about her own father being in the hospital. It's just a whole level of messed up. Now, amid all this drama and isolation, there's another twist in Wendy's saga. Despite everything that's gone down with her ex, Kevin Hunter, Wendy seems to be stuck in the past, still madly in love with him. In a snippet from the documentary, there's this heart-wrenching moment where Wendy, chatting with Black China, insists that her real name is Wendy Hunter, not Williams. Well, my real name is Wendy Hunter. Hunter. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm divorced. It's like she's trapped in a time loop, unable to move on from her marriage. But here's where it gets even sadder. Wendy's son, Kevin Jr., recently spilled some serious tea. He says his mom's been talking about getting back with Kevin Hunter. Yeah, the same Kevin who put her through so much pain. Kevin Jr. is worried sick because with Wendy's dementia, she's not remembering all the bad stuff that went down. She's just longing for her ex for getting the heartache and betrayal. Kevin Jr. being super protective of his mom is in a tough spot. The last thing he wants is for his mom to fall back into the arms of Kevin Hunter. He's scared Kevin might just worm his way back into Wendy's life and exploit her all over again. It's like watching a soap opera, but way too real and way too sad. Fans have been pouring out their hearts over this whole mess. They remember Wendy as the queen of daytime talk, always bold and brash. But seeing her like this, vulnerable and caught up in her past, 
It's just devastating. People are blaming Kevin Hunter for Wendy's downward spiral since that whole secret baby saga. They believe the heartbreak from his cheating sent her into this never-ending tailspin. Even with her dementia, Wendy can't seem to shake off the shadows of her past with Kevin. It's a tragic reminder of how deep and damaging heartbreak can be. The situation with Wendy Williams is a real roller coaster of emotions. Despite the whirlwind of issues she's facing, there's this sense of undying love she still holds for Kevin Hunter. It's like a Shakespearean tragedy playing out in real life. Fans are watching heartbroken as Wendy seems to be lost in a world where the pain and betrayal by Kevin are just distant memories erased by her illness. The whole dynamic with her son Kevin Jr. adds another layer to this complex story. He's caught between wanting to protect his mom and watching her yearn for a man who caused her so much grief. It's a tough spot for any son to be in. You can feel his struggle as he grapples with the reality of his mom's condition and her longing for a past that tore their family apart. The documentary really paints a vivid picture of Wendy's current state. It's a stark contrast to the vibrant, outspoken host we all knew from her show. The Wendy in the documentary is a shadow of her former self, battling health issues, isolated from her family and clinging to memories of a love that once was. It's a reminder of how fleeting fame and success can be and how personal struggles can overshadow even the brightest of stars. And let's not forget the role of the Guardian in all this. It's almost like a plot from a mystery novel The Guardian who's supposed to protect Wendy but ends up cutting her off from the very people who love her the most. It raises so many questions about her well-being and the intentions of those who are now in charge of her life. In the end, this whole saga is a mix of sadness, nostalgia, and a bit of disbelief. Wendy Williams, once the queen of daytime TV, is now in a battle far away from the cameras and the glamour. It's a story that's captivated fans and left them rooting for her, hoping that somehow she finds her way back to a place of peace and happiness. In the midst of all the turmoil, a new angle to Wendy Williams' saga has emerged, shedding light on the complexities of her situation. Beyond her health struggles and the emotional turmoil surrounding her ex-husband Kevin Hunter, there's a larger narrative unfolding. It's about Wendy's legacy, her impact on the media world, and how her current struggles reflect on the challenges faced by public figures. Remarkably, even in these trying times, Wendy's influence remains undeniable. She was a trailblazer in the talk show arena, known for her fearless approach and her ability to connect with her audience on a personal level. Her story now highlights the vulnerability of even the most seemingly invincible personalities. It's a stark reminder of how personal battles can deeply affect those in the limelight, often hidden behind the facade of fame. The discussions around Wendy also bring to light the complex nature of mental health, especially in the context of public figures. Her journey underscores the importance of mental well-being, a topic often overlooked in the glamorous world of showbiz. Wendy's battle with dementia and the implications of her condition on her decision-making and personal relationships open up crucial conversations about the care and support needed for those suffering from such ailments. Moreover, Wendy's situation has sparked a broader debate on the role of guardianship and family involvement in the care of celebrities. The controversy surrounding her guardian's decisions and the exclusion of her family touches upon the delicate balance between protecting an individual's privacy and ensuring they have the necessary support system. It's a contentious issue, highlighting the challenges face when managing the affairs of those who are no longer able to do so themselves. Through it all, the narrative of Wendy Williams serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of human life, regardless of fame or fortune. It's a real-life story that continues to unfold, filled with twists and turns, and one that has captured the hearts and minds of her fans and the public at large. Wendy's journey with all its highs and lows remains a testament to her resilience and the enduring love of her supporters who hope to see her rise again.